Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Paula and on my channel I do a lot of beauty videos and for the last four years I have been doing beauty advent calendar unboxings and today is no exception. We are finally into the Christmas spirit a little bit, dare I say it, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Look Fantastic advent calendar. As I said, I've been unboxing beauty advent calendars here in my channel since 2016 and I still look forward to it. I still get excited to do it. I've seen so many different ones and the brands and I just love seeing what they kind of come up with every year. And if you don't know already, I have a blog which is called thelinendiaries.com. It's a lifestyle blog and even the year before that, I think it was 2015, I always posted a list of the best advent calendars for each year. And back then there wasn't really as many and now there are just so many beauty advent calendars. So last year, because it was just so many, I still did my list, but I decided to start a separate site and it's called beautyadventcalendar.net. And some of you may have already checked it out last year. And on that, I am able to just share a lot more information. So I can share the contents of each calendar. I can share a wait list so you can sign up to things like that. And also sometimes I get sent just a couple of things from my brand. So I'll get sent an image and maybe a price, but I don't have all the information. And so I wasn't able to put that all together and put it in my post. But with this site, I can do that. And I love to be able to just share like sneak peeks and early information. So if you haven't checked it out already and you like the sound of it, I'll pop the URL in the description box and you can go and check it out. So even after all that time, I do still love it. I absolutely love having calendars. I mean, I love unboxing them. I wouldn't have started a separate site if I didn't. I love them and it was really fun to do that last year. I'm enjoying doing it. It does take up a lot of my time as some of you know, um, but here we are. So this is the Look Fantastic Advent Calendar. It has a really cool design actually and it has, oh, there we go. And then the inside is drawers. I absolutely love a drawer advent calendar. Um, I swear Look Fantastic were one of the firsts to do that maybe. I remember the first advent calendar I ever bought was the Look Fantastic one. It was white and gold and I absolutely loved it and I didn't have a clue what was inside it. And everyone wants to know what's inside it now, but I didn't know what was inside it and I absolutely loved it. And now I'm lucky enough to get sent them, which is amazing. So I'm gonna run through the details quickly of this and we're gonna get into unboxing it. And for that, I've just pulled up my site. Um, basically it's a 25 day calendar, it's 85 pounds and it's worth over 460 pounds. So it's 85 pounds if you're not a subscriber and by that I mean you're not a subscriber to the Look Fantastic Beauty Box. So you can go in straight away and buy it. If you do fancy signing up to the Beauty Box at the same time, you can save 15 pounds. And to do that, all you need to do is add the calendar into your basket and the subscription to the Beauty Box at the same time and use the code ADVENTNEWSUBS, which I'll put on the screen, and you will be able to buy it together and save £15. So the calendar is £70. If you're already a subscriber, it's £70 to you. But I must say, you do have to subscribe to the three, six or 12 month option. If you subscribe to the one month, it won't work. So if the code says it's not working, that's probably why. And if you are a subscriber, you just use the code Unbox Advent and that'll give you your 15 pounds off. And if you want to do it slightly different, like you maybe had to think about it and you're not sure and you sign up to the beauty box first, if you do want to sign up to the beauty box and you're not buying an advent calendar, I do have a 10% off code, it's Paula HBB, and that will get you 10% off your first box, and that's three, six or 12 months as well. So I'd like to share a little bit of love with the codes. I don't make any money off that code, but just thought I would share it in case you do want to sign up to the beauty box. And again, all the info's on my site and all the contents as well, so if you kind of want to go and have a little look again at everything and lots of other calendars for this year that are quite similar. My favorite calendars are definitely the multi-brand calendars. They're my favorite and they're my most favorite that I like to unbox. So I can think of a better one to kick it off. Okay, so let's go. Okay, number one is down here. What we got, beautiful pink tissue paper. Okay, we have the Natasha Denona Blush Glow Duo Blush and Highlighting Powder. Yes, loving that. So Natasha Denona is really new to look fantastic and I absolutely love it. I've only tried a few things, the eyeshadow palettes and a couple of lipsticks that I bought this summer and I absolutely love them. If you've never heard of her before, she's a makeup artist and she brought out eyeshadow palettes first, very expensive eyeshadow palettes. Her new one that's coming out, it's called Glam. It's not out here in the UK yet. Looks amazing and I'm definitely going to be picking that up. But never tried this. Okay, so this is a blush glow duo. So we have a pink and a highlight. So let's get a little look. That's really pretty. 
Okay, that's pretty. I like that piece. Um, that's really cute. It's got a mirror on the inside. So I'm really happy to see that in the calendar, a brand new brand. It's not a brand you see often in the calendar. I know it is in a couple this year already, but it's really not a brand that over the years we've seen over and over again. So I'm really excited with that one. Okay, number two is just below that one. I've had to put this on a couple of boxes to show you. Okay, we have a Luxie brush. And this is the 522 Tapered Highlight Brush. And it's a little bit bent from being in the box, but the best thing to do with that is just wash it and it will reshape it. But that feels really nice. I like that, it's a nice good brush. Number three is in the corner. I like it when they're wrapped up. Okay, this is a Molten Brown's Delicious Rhubarb and Rose Bath and Shower Gel. I think I do like this one. I do, it's really nice. So it's 100 milliliters. It's a really good size to be able to try it. I love Molten Burn products. I've had their calendar one year before when I sent it and it was so nice. So that's good. I love getting Molten Brown. Okay, number four is this big one up here. Okay, this is the Verdile Dragon's Blood Cleansing Water. I really like some of their products. Dragon's Blood is probably my favorite range. It's a muscular water with hyaluronic acid and vitamin B3. So it's really hydrating. I don't tend to use muscular waters that often, but it's so good when you just want something quick and easy. And this is really good. It's got like rose water in it too. It's definitely my favorite range from them. I, oh, I am so excited. I'm like, give me it. Okay, I'm very excited for five. Okay, so five is the Mina 532 Cream Eyeshadow. And this looks so nice. This is so up my street. <gasps> That's really pretty. Like a really nice kind of warm bronze color. Perfect just to throw on before you go on your walks because we're not really going anywhere right now. <gasps> How's everyone coping with everything? I'd love to just hear what's happening in other countries. A lot of things that you read on the news, I just, I just don't know anymore. So let me know how you all are. Number six is up here. Okay. This is the Philip Kingsley Deep Conditioning Treatment and it's in Mayan Vanilla and Orange Blossom. I've never tried it in the scent, but I do like this product. It is good. I think a lot of people either use this or use Olaplex. Me personally, I use Olaplex, but it is a good product. Number seven oh, is the Ren. Ready Steady Glow AHA Lotion Tonic. So it's a little bit like Pixie Glow Tonic, although a lot stronger than that. I really like this. It's a little bit tingly, so if you've never used glycolic acid, I would maybe start with something like the Pixie, but this is so good. It's really, really good. I love this a lot. I would say maybe use it two, two to three times a week. It depends on your skin tolerance. If you're oily, you can probably use it quite a bit. Uh, for me, dehydrated skin, I probably maybe even just use it once a week. Number eight. Eight is the Eve Lom Cleanser. So this is their cleansing balm. I have used this before. It's nice. It's not my favorite, but it is good and a lot of people love it. So that one is, what size is this? 20 mils. I like the reusable drawers because you can reuse them. Okay, number nine is the Diego de la Palma Black eye pencil so we always love an eye pencil it's really good with makeup when it's just an item that anyone can use and i think that's where they try and concentrate on the advent calendar right number 10 is a big one and this is the ritual of sakura organic rice and cherry blossom scrub i love rich's products this smells nice i've never tried this scrub before it in this range. I haven't tried a lot from Mitchell's. I'm very tempted by the advent calendar, the 3D one. It lights up, it looks really cool. Okay, number 11 is here. Okay, we have the Tan Lux Super Glow Hyaluronic Self Tan Serum in Gradual. This is really good if you like a little bit of fake tan on your face but you don't want it too heavy. This is great to just add a little bit of color and it's hyaluronic acid as well. So it's got like different forms of hyaluronic acid and it's acid in it. It's a really great product. I actually very much rate that. Okay, number 12 is 
the Illamasqua Loaded Lip Polish in Vogue. So let's get a little try at this. That's a nice colour. It's quite creamy, so it's not like a matte liquid lip. And it's kind of just like a really nice wearable colour. I like that. Week 13 is here. We're nearly halfway through. What is this? Oh, okay, it's an eye mask. <laughs> I'm ripping everything open. It's a blue satin eye mask from Glove. Never heard of them. There we go, guys. <laughs> I personally don't wear eye masks and I have so many of them. Um, I don't know, I don't really like things covering my face and my eyes that much. But um, yeah, it's a cute addition. The 14's up here. I can't reach it, it's really heavy. 14 is the Elemez Pro Collagen Oxygating Night Cream and that's a 30 ml. So now this is pretty expensive. I think the full size is about 70 pounds. This is probably about 50. So this is really good considering the calendar is what, 85. So that is a good one. Dean is down the bottom and we have an e-cooking vitamin C serum and it says it's good not for sensitive skin but yeah it's a vitamin c serum so it's got hyaluronic acid in it i haven't tried much from them either so i can't comment too much but i do love a vitamin c serum i find it's really good for brightening the skin and if you have any pigmentation as well then it's really good for that 16 is a big one it's up here oh wow what is this yay this is the this works Deep Sleep Body Cocoon, which I guess is a moisturizer, and it's in the This Works Sleepy Sleep Spray Smell, I'm guessing, which I use every night. It's in that smell, I absolutely love that. So I have already their shower gel, I have the bath salts in this, I have the candle, I have the sleep spray. Can you tell I like it? So I've never tried that, so I am looking forward to giving that a go. Right, number 17. Oh, this one is doubly wrapped in bubble wrap. What are you? You are the Omra Visca Silver Skin Savior SOS Argent. I've never tried this, but I do know that it's a face mask and it's got, I think it's like glycolic acid and niamicide in it. I think it's really good for kind of like bringing down your pore size and clearing out your pores, I think, but I haven't tried it before, but it's a very expensive brand. Right, 18 is the Sleek hydrating primer, moisturizing primer. 19. Ooh, is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lash Brag Mascara. I think this is really new. Cute little size. Let's get a look at the brush. Always got to look at the brush. Ooh, massive. I used to love massive mascaras and then I kind of went to like really thin ones, but that looks good. I'll definitely try this. The only concern I have with this is that I bought the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeliner. I have really sensitive eyes and I was actually allergic to it. So I'll be a little bit wary of trying this, but I am excited to try it. Right, number 20. <laughs> so excited. It's like, woo. Okay, it's the Mio Clay Away Body Cleanser 2-in-1 Wash and Mask. Apply to wet skin and then rinse off. Cool, definitely try that out. 21 is up to the top. And this is the Floroga Time Filler Wrinkle Correction Cream. Now, I, as I said, I do tend to see a lot of similar brands and calendars over the years. This is definitely one of them and definitely one of the products. And do you know what? Even after all that time, I don't think I've actually tried it. I really don't remember actually trying it. I do give a lot of these things away and I, I don't remember giving it a go, so maybe this year it will be the year that I try it. <laughs> okay, 22 is the Purifying Gel Cleanser from Claudalie, and this is for combination to oily skin, so not one for me, but if you have combination to oily skin, then I'm sure you will love that. So up here, we are nearly finished. Okay, 23 is Avant's Harmonist Rose Quartz Revitalizing and Firming Mask. So this is a brand that I tend to see in the Look Fantastic calendar and the Beauty Expert and Glossy Box, boxes and things like that. And outside of some of the hot group brands, 
I've never heard of it, so I would love to know your thoughts on this. Is it any good? Have you heard of it before? Because I only ever see it in these calendars and they say that it's worth like 80 pounds or whatever it's worth, but I've never really heard of it. I don't know. Apart from when I see it in calendars and boxes and things. Right, 24. What's 24? We have another pencil. This is Lord and Berry's Perfect Brow Magic Pencil Definer in Brunette. So one side we have a spoolie and the other side is like a brown. It looks like two colours mixed together. Gonna create a nice brown. So now my hair's a bit darker, that might work for me, although it does look a little warm. Right, we are on the last day, number 25. What could it be? Let's find out. Okay, it is a full size Espa 24 hour balancing moisturizer. Great that it's a full size, but this is an oil balancing moisturizer to hydrate and clarify. So to be honest, it's probably not for me. Um, I would need something really hydrating and you know, this is obviously more for oil, but full size, so I can give that to someone else. So yeah, that was the Look Fantastic advent calendar. My favorite things have got to be Natasha Denona, love to see that. The Rodeo Cleanser as well, I will definitely use the Ren. Um, great to see LMS full size in there, Rituals, some really great brands. There is a lot of skincare as always, quite skincare heavy, but there is some makeup in there too. More makeup than I thought, which is nice. So yeah, I really like this. Let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments, or do you think you'll buy this one? What did you think of the products? What was your favorite product? One final thing I wanna say and make clear in these videos is that I am sent these calendars from the brands. So this calendar was gifted to me and any calendar that you see me unbox on my channel for the years has been gifted to me by the brands. And I really wanna make that really clear because I don't want anyone, especially in the current climate, to really feel bad that they can't afford this. And I hope that you can still enjoy the unboxings and just like to see what's in it and know that I didn't buy this either. And I am definitely not buying calendars just to unbox my channel for views. That is not what I'm about and that's not what this channel is about either. And no shade to anyone that does do that. I just wanna make it really clear and I don't want anyone to feel like they ever have to buy anything that I show them. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'd love to hear what you think. Make sure you hit the like button if you did. I'd love it if you subscribed as well and I will see you in my next one.